So I promised you that I would just check out if uh, the Litchi app for uh, um, iOS would work together with the DJI Mini 2 and uh, I can confirm that it works and uh, right now I'm just out here in the field messing around with the drone while my father he is uh, basically preparing this field this small plot of uh, dirt to grow some potatoes and uh, I have messed around with a little bit of the stuff that's in here and it seems that not everything is working as it is right now uh, especially I can't make the tracking function work uh, and uh, the way that you get this app if you want to play around with it yourself uh, this basically means that uh, DJI has released the SDK as it is right now uh, for uh, iOS which means that I will be able to use an app like uh, Litchi here and the way that that works and the way that you gain access to this app is through something that's called test flight and with test flight that's a separate application uh, that you install on your iOS device you need to apply through a link that I will put in the description below uh, through uh, Litchi and then apply for oh watch out for the trees so uh, where you need to apply for uh, to get approved for the beta program through Litchi and then uh, when you have done that they will send you an email that uh, will allow you to download the beta app through this test flight app that you will have on your iOS device and it will be like that and then will continue to send you updates as long as they are working on improving this in the beta program and once they have done they will put it into production and you can basically download it through the App Store like you normally would do. This is an old Ford Dexter tractor uh, that is uh, I think from 1952 and this is kind of <laughs> like the family workhorse at least my father he's using that one for all the stuff that he's doing here on this plot of land. I haven't tried all the functionality yet but I can tell you that at least the tracking function that doesn't work very well so if I just take tracking here and move it towards the tractor here I need to use two fingers to do like a square around it so the remote control of flight mode should be set to normal so maybe it does work so it so I put it in normal so yes I can put a square around it okay so it actually does track. So I can see if I fly around now, it will track the tractor and keep it inside the frame. Because tracking is not always about tracking moving objects. It will also allow you a little bit like spotlight. Okay, that lost it. <laughs> it's not always about tracking moving objects. You can always also track something static and then simply uh, fly the drone around. So if I just try it again, yeah, cancel it. And now I'm running out of battery. I've made video, a ton of videos that shows all the functionality that you are having with, uh, with this drone. So uh, I will make sure to link to a playlist with all the videos that I've done there as the functionality is the same. But at least now you know that the beta app for iOS is working. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.